So let's talk about how it works from a few angles, from a, a, a high level. It can come from phishing emails, as we saw in the video where this started. Um, and that one, I wouldn't necessarily call that it's sort of between phishing and spear phishing in that it attacked a company, but not a single individual, uh, regardless. Uh, you can also pull down or uh, contract rent malware that has uh, ransomware associated with it through unpatched programs and drive-by downloads. Um, you know, so you're always uh, seeing on your endpoints software updates for Flash or Java or even your operating system, and oftentimes those patches are to correct or remediate vulnerabilities in the software where they can attack. A drive-by download is when you go out and you download a piece of software and then it also says, hey, would you also like this as well? Some people aren't paying attention, they click yes and inadvertently download some malware with that. Compromised websites may not know that they've been compromised. Somebody's taken over their site, replaced the content with malicious content and now they're distributing malware or attacks in some other way. Malvertising, who's heard of that term? Malvertising? Yeah. So advertising on a website really is just you know, a legitimate website renting out some space on their website for a marketing company to use. So if one of those advertisements happens to contain malware, the, the, the main website where it's on, they don't know anything about it. And you know, click to, to know more about whatever the ad is, you download malware. Or some of the sneakier ones will just try to install themselves without you knowing about it. And then free software, of course, you have to use uh, a lot of discretion with that. And even with free software that's been trusted and you know you've used for years, there's been a lot of occasions now where you go down and try to load, download the latest version of a particular piece of software utility that you've been using for years. That latest one, they compromise the site and replace it with a malicious file. Right. So let's go a little deeper with ransomware. The Email is launched with an attachment. The attachment is actually an exploit kit. It scans your system and looks for vulnerabilities. Then it reports these vulnerabilities to malicious infrastructure and downloads custom malware for that particular vulnerability, uh, including what's known as command and control, which has many names, botnet, C2, CNC. Um, where, if successfully installed, can remotely control the victim's endpoint. Uh, then the endpoint then is instructed remotely to download a key to use to encrypt the file system, and, and uh, the remote, um, the, the botnet software will reach out and pull down a page to replace and say, here's how you unlock your file system. Okay, so that's, that's ransomware in a nutshell. And, and another way of looking at that, you know, so there was the email, same thing if you were to click on a link, still reaches out to this malicious infrastructure to download maybe an exploit kit first, run the exploit kit, download the malware to install the command and control software, reach out and grab a key to encrypt your file system, direct you out to a page that says, here's your instructions. <laughs>